Good morning, Cougars. Please quiet down for morning prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The ultimate time manager. There is so much to do. There are so many demands on your time. School, homework, practice, family, friends. None of these things alone is bad, but together they can make you so busy that you don't feel like you have time for me. Don't fall into the trap of being constantly on the go. Don't be too busy for me. If you will spend time with me, studying my word and talking to me, I will help you sort out what is really important and what is not. Because I help you, you will see clearly and, and know what you need to do. You will be able to do more in less time. And because I am the all-powerful king of the universe, I can actually bend time and events in your favor to help you out. I am the ultimate time manager. Psalm chapter 32, verse 8. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Good morning, Jacob. Good morning, Jack. Good morning, Sam students. So today is Friday. And, and it is just the formal dance tonight. That's pretty cool. And that starts at 6.30 and it's till 9 o'clock. I cannot wait. <clears throat> I'm really excited for that, actually. And I know that the 8th grade class has, takes pictures before for the 8th grade video. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be really fun getting interviewed. And I have a nice suit. <coughs> it's a very nice suit, and I like it. I think it's going to look so classy, guys. Mm -hmm. I'm going to look very classy. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have another uh, fact for mm -hmm. your heart. So did you know that physical activity doesn't just strengthen muscles, but it has also been shown to help relieve stress and increase self-esteem? That's actually true, because like when I run, and I run like a mile and a half, I'm like, whoa, I just did that. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> like, wow, I'm really proud of myself. Mm -hmm. I remember whenever I like run, it's pretty yeah, fun. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, speaking about your heart, we have a Jump Rope for Heart radio, so uh, roll, roll it, Jenna. Jenna. I have a daughter and a son, and my son is born with, um, they call it a catastrophic congenital heart defect. I had a la blah, 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 I don't know. <laughs> but it's gone, they can eat K blah blah da company blah, so I got a ginga. And then he also had three holes in his heart. He had transmissive great artery, hypoplastic aortic arch, two ASDs, one VSD, and pulmonary valve stenosis. What she said. <laughs> he needed open heart surgery right away, within a few days to live. He is definitely a direct recipient of heart research. And I'm just so thankful. I'm so thankful for all that research because I know he wouldn't be with us if it wasn't for that. And I feel like Jump Rope for Heart is so positive and it's concrete. It is something you can do to help. And Grace has embraced that. She's done bake sales for it in our front yard. And she always says it, Mom, I'm just saving another baby. When your brother's really sick, it's kind of hard because you can't do anything about it. But if you give money to the American Heart Association, the American Heart Association will take the money and research how to cure people's hearts. No hands. Hi. I think he thinks he's just a normal kid. He has got so much energy, he runs around, he loves life, he plays soccer. His cardiologist called him a superhero, and that just clicked for Michael. And so he started calling himself Super Mike, and he just loved all the superhero stuff. And I think that he just takes it in stride. I'm okay, and it's mostly based on the American Heart Association that I'm still alive.
for sharing that story with us. What a well, fantastic that's fantastic story. Yeah, that was really inspiring. Mm -hmm. Some kid's life got saved. That's cool. Mm -hmm. And uh, here is Isaiah with the sports. The boys' B fifth grade basketball team sadly lost their game yesterday against St. Francis, but they played great. So let's give them a round of applause. And that was the last game of their season, so all B basketball teams, please turn in your uniforms to the office. And for the A basketball teams, um, playoffs will be starting next week. Here's Alyssa with the girls' sports. Playoffs for the girls' A basketball team will be starting next week, and we are hosting, so that means all of their games will be at the Boys and Girls Club, so you should all go and support your Cougars. And for the first through eighth grade, make sure you guys are signing up for track because it's really fun, and I know I'll be participating in it, so... Here's Ryan with the birthdays. Good morning, Sam students. Today we have some birthdays. Please tell us your name, what you want, and how old you're turning. I'm Xavier. I'm turning nine, and I want Pokemon cards. That's awesome. Everyone likes Pokemon. Now, today's my random dance move, and it's called Invisible Jump Rope. Now here's Jack and Jacob. Those are some nice moves, Ryan, mm -hmm. but I wonder if you can do it with a real jump rope. Yeah, probably not. But <laughs> yeah, I saw him doing the crisscross. <laughs> but it, yeah. yeah. Have a terrific rest of your day, Cougars. And if you want to have a healthy heart, now is the time. time.